get some coffee. Are you serious? There's been two mega quakes, very strong. Oh, not quite a mega, I shouldn't say that. But intensity, definitely. Destruction, without question. And where? In Iran. I ran. Now, wait a minute. The Bible tells us in Matthew 24, in Mark 13, in Luke 21, and in different parts of Revelation, of major earthquakes are going to hit the earth before the apocalypse is fully fulfilled. I'm going to take you right now. Let's listen to about a minute and 30 seconds of a report on the news by CNN. I want to get this information to you to hear the intensity of what happened today in Iran. A 6.4 followed minutes later by a 6.3. And the two different quakes are 12 miles apart. So they, they are two distinct quakes. Let's go there now. Here's a report from CNN. I think to get an idea of the deadly impact in northwestern Iran from a pair of powerful earthquakes. We've heard from Iranian media that at least 50 people were killed, 400 are injured, but the French it's news agency, that. Agence France Presse, is now reporting the death toll has been raised to at least 80. It's the more than that. struck Saturday 180. at local time near the city of Tabriz. Neighboring towns felt the earth shake, and since then there have been several strong aftershocks. Meteorologist Tom Sater joins us now from the International Weather Center. You've been following things closely. What are you seeing? Well, these two uh, quakes, uh, quakes actually occurred within 11 minutes of each other. One is 6.4, one is 6.3. 11 and minutes. And only 12 kilometers from each other. So thank goodness they didn't happen at the same time. The number could have been much higher. But again, if you talk about 6 to 6.9 quakes all across the globe, we only have 130 of them annually. It has been a while. They are considered strong earthquakes with slight damage. However... Right. That depends on materials used in building. It depends on the terrain. Here was the first quake. Everything really after the first quake is considered an aftershock, but they're so close together here. At 3.53 local time, a shallow quake, only 9.9 .9 kilometers deep. The second Shut quake the actually was very similar to this, a 6.3 and a depth of only 9.8. Now keep in mind here as we take a look at where they're located. In fact, Ahar, this is a home of 94,000 people. Tabri, however, just 40 kilometers from this one is a home of 1.4 million. All right. So two quakes in Iran, 12 miles apart. 11 minutes apart. One is 6.4, one is 6.3. Both are shallow and a lot of destruction going on with a lot of major aftershocks following. 180 are now dead. Since this video by CNN was being reported, there's been a rip. Now the death toll has risen to 180. 1,300 injured by these strong quakes as they jolt northwestern Iran. Someone asked me, why did you put Akhmadulajad on the cover of your new book, Mark of the Beast? And why did you put the Ayatollah Ala Khomeini on the back of the book, Mark of the Beast? The answer is very simple. They play a major, significant role in the end time apocalyptic hour as radical Islam and as Iran continues to threaten Israel. God is not going to allow. He said he would seek to destroy every nation that comes against Jerusalem in Zechariah chapter 12 verse 9. But he also says that Jerusalem will become a cup of trembling. And certainly it has. Now let me read to you a scripture. Jesus said this in Mark 13. He said these words, beginning to read at verse 6. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. Be not troubled, for such things must needs be. But the end shall not be yet, for nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be earthquakes in divers places, and there shall be famines and troubles. These are the beginning 
of sorrows. I want to thank Reverend Gary of Kentucky for getting this information to me. Of course, I'm just getting back here in West Lafayette, Indiana. Also, here's from a tremendous revival. Oh my, I'm telling you what, I've gotten so much feedback from the from emails and, and, and letters in the mail and cards from people who watched the revival, World Revival Convention there in the Bronx, New York. Unbelievable. People moved. A nine-year-old girl feels the calling to preach the gospel. I'll share that with you in a minute. Hang on a second. In Revelation, the Bible says, chapter 16, verse 16, Revelation 16, 16, and he gathered them together into a place called, in the Hebrew tongue, Armageddon. And the seventh angel poured out his vial into the air, and there came a great voice out of the temple of heaven from the throne, saying, it is done. And there were voices and thunders and lightnings. And there was a great earthquake, such as was not since men were upon the earth. So mighty an earthquake and so great. And the great city was divided into three parts. The cities of the nations fell, including, of course, great Babylon. Now, folks, there's some biblical prophecy right in here in these chapters. I don't want to dig too deep, but I want you to understand something. That earthquake has not happened yet. But if I was living along the New Madrid fault line, if I was living along the Santa's uh, there in California, Southern California, along those fault lines, if I was living anywhere close in any nation surrounding Israel that is declaring annihilation of Israel, I would be extremely fearful of the wrath of God. Now hang on a second. Folks, there's a move of God right now. I want to read to you a card. I got some cards in the mail. Lakeland, Florida. Amazing card. 